haven't found my footing i don't know where i am i don't know what i'm doing i'm not happy with my life hear me and hear me well dr squad no one doing better than you is hating on you when is here If you can not win her, 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 her. Hi, if you've never seen me before, my name is Dr. Linda Mudoni and we are on yet another weekly vlog. So today we have a couple of things we're doing, uh, particularly for my car. I need to get this car serviced and then I also need to take it to the car wash. And then after that, I've actually just been randomly invited to a listening party for Oktoberfest. I'm one of the influencers for M-Pesa, so I hope I'll see you guys at Oktoberfest. I, regardless of the fact that this vlog will go after after the october fest has already taken place and whatnot the guy who does who services my car it's a cx5 garage it's all the way in membli uko thika roduko which is really far from where i live but it's okay i trust the guy i'm someone who will travel miles if i have to from wherever i am if i know i'm going to get good service from anyone like that means whether it's nails my car my hair anything let's start the day There's literally CX-5s everywhere. There's only one Axela. By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell if there's a difference in the quality of the videos. Please do let me know. I feel like there's a difference. Ama. Bay decided to surprise me with not one but two iPhone 15s. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, then you probably saw that. So I'm using one of the iPhone 15s right now. Uh, let me know. Have, can you guys see the difference in quality or not? If I could quickly review the phone, I feel like it's it's an upgrade. I mean, I've had people complaining, uh, saying that it's overheating in Aisha Charge Araka and all these other things. But personally, I've not experienced any of those things. I love it. I love the quality of the video and yeah I'm genuinely happy very like is there anything more amazing than a man who supports your craft the fact that he went out of his way like he realized that uyo watch watch an idea uyo kidogo you know let me sprinkle sprinkle something on her life so I'm really grateful and I know he watches my content so thank you babe <laughs> thank you for for my upgrade anyways that aside to mefika watch an ishuke we get this car serviced before we run out of time literally seconds later i've already met my mech but he saw me he's servicing another car so i'm say my name party sometime while he does that let me chit chat with you guys kidogo i hope mkopoa mentally physically emotionally i hadn't posted there's like a period up where i disappeared for like three weeks on youtube and then for like a week or two weeks on on tiktok and instagram i was just going through it like i had a lot going on in my life and i was just like you know what i need to take a break i will do a video about taking care of our mental health i do think it's very important in this day and age especially because we get bombarded on a daily basis with nonsense and we might also even be the afflictors of nonsense in other, in other people's lives you know it goes both ways um with that said like let me just even talk about this iphone thing real quick while i have you guys here uh of course when when i posted the video me was just happy like i'm happy i'm content no biggie we move the thing with me is me don't go looking for trouble and by that i mean it don't bother myself in reading comments especially when i know there's bound to be some negativity once someone tells me nimono me post you at this such and such place may don't go indulge in that nonsense because what's the point me i'm happy niko content why should i bother myself with what people have to say you know what i wanted to say on the same right is once upon a time like i remember one of the lowest times in my life was shortly after Nilimaliza Campo and I tamaked for about two years and I remember I used to have a boutique shout out to you if you remember I had a boutique in Chuka called Linda's 
shout out to you and i say that because yes as much as i had the shop the shop was doing well i think actually in six months i ended up opening another one and then in another six months i closed both down because the, i poorly managed the shops but i'm actually getting lost in the details of this uh, story what i wanted to say was i remember during that period when i was very low i was very bitter about other people you know like if i had seen someone else doing well in Geniwasha and I would have something I would always have something to say I said that to say I'm able to extend that grace to people these days I saw a lot of people saying a lot of negative things again I didn't go looking like if some something is sent to me of course I will check right? there was a lot of positivity in fact for me I just thank God that throughout my journey in terms of content creation compared to some of my peers I've had it easy I've not experienced extreme negativity like that what I wanted to say is hear me and hear me well Dr. squad no one doing better than you is hating on you listen let me rephrase that yeah anyone who is content and at peace with where they are is clapping for you Meniska, do you know there are people who are in competition with you and you don't even know that like you are just existing you're just living your life whether you live in a bed sitter or mansion or whatever it any more too peaceful in your life now you can't do it now you can't do it now you can and hey, yo, if there's something this uh, journey of content creation has taught me, it's resilience. And I will do a whole video. In fact, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but let's get this car service now, finally. I feel more than enough. And I feel like I often get preachy on this channel, but I can't help it. I can't help it. So I know there's mess behind me, but nje kumeanza kunyesha. Then, ni mwana wa kikula hii food, and I'm like, ah, let me just eat. I haven't had kamande in a really long time, but ando yo joe imetokea tena. So, I'm about to eat this delicious, delicious cuisine. <laughs> I used to make recipes on TikTok and Instagram as of and then i stopped like two months ago i got lazy i honestly got lazy and then also i started eating out way more than i eat in the house but i want to start cooking again so maybe i'll make kamande next because i think one of the last recipes i made was cookies adasiju but let me know if you want cooking uh, recipes just let me know in the comments leave um pink hats pink hats for recipes on youtube and even on TikTok or Instagram, whatever. Just let me know what you guys want. Watch Anikule as they finish doing what they're doing. I'm all done. Uh, we've ended up taking way more, way longer than I expected. He told me 35 minutes, which typically that's how long it takes. So it's completely understandable, but I had to change my brake pads. Apparently it was Meisha, Zambele, Zanyuma. Oh, and my wipers also. So you see that's added cost. Um, this service has been a bit more expensive than the usual one. Uh, if anyone cares, you know, maybe for your own for your own budgeting purposes. Typically, it's usually like around 15k, but this one has rounded up to around 25, either 25 or 30. At a sequel sure, but I feel like it's 30. Finally, the wipers, so I can be on my way. The book figure to one. Eh, this is the copper. Okay, finally on the road. So next stop, car wash. I'm linking up with my friend Yawera and I'm looking forward to that. I was with her over the weekend. Ah, so I just can't wait to vibe with her again.
But we tried going for a listening party at um, it's like a pre Oktoberfest thing. But I just walk out one night. Any we went there, it was kind of um, I don't want to say boring, but it just wasn't our our type of place. It was quite loud. So I like, hey, you know, let's just go have dinner elsewhere. So we've come to Samaki Samaki, and yeah, we're about to order for dinner. I'm with my friend Yaweba. Okay, you can give me pizza, food, and drinks menu. Sour. Can I kindly have a savanna? I yes. think she will also have a sa Yeah, cold. Okay. Two. Two. Yes. Thank you. So, yeah, I think I'll just close off the, the vlog for today right here, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is Saturday, so I'm about to get ready to go to the Oktoberfest while we pigas story kidogo. I was going to do this video independently, like separately, just do a whole video, um, you know, just to get ready with me on its own. Then I was like, ah, that might be a waste of a waste of time. So something else I need to mention because it's Saturday. Kids are outside playing, so you might hear a lot of background noise. I apologize in advance. Just switched to the iPhone 15, and then I realized that the input device for my mic is not compatible with this phone. So the first thing I'm going to do is wear my wig. It can be curing as we move on to the makeup. 
I've had this wig for so long. Like I've had this wig for about maybe five years. I got it from Lulu's hair on IG. They're based in Tanzania. At that time, this wig was going for 30K. What I love about like wigs in Tanzania, I guess maybe because their tax is lower, they're usually very affordable. So I first got this wig, by the way, it wasn't brown. It wasn't this uh, like brown color. I just bleached it. Like I colored it myself by just putting it in a bleach bag. By the way, I'm having this uh, leftover um, drink Nilibakisha Jana, you guys saw me at Makado. If I paid 500 bucks for a drink, I am going to finish it. Mm -mm. I always say this, but I wish I could talk to you guys like here face to face to be your story. I'm going to start of course by powdering my face because Nili Kwani Mepaka sunscreen. Oftentimes, of course, if you put an oily base, you're bound to start being shiny shortly after putting on your makeup. So I try to put on powder. This is just Fenty, Fenty loose powder. I think that's what it's called. Just all over the face just to try and the quality or the intensity of the sunscreen. But on the end of October 1st, I'm the content creator for M-Pesa. I don't know if there are others, uh, there could be. I don't know if you guys have the upper lesson. Let me tell you, you know, me there's nothing that lesses, that makes me happier as a content creator, then brand reaches out and, and I actually use their products. So I'm proud that every brand that I'm, I'm pushing is a brand that I believe in. Speaking of which, let's talk about brands and let's talk about um, how you guys feel about, let's say when a content creator does a video or does content and then you realize it's an ad. Does that compromise the quality or does that, do you usually feel like the person is just doing it because they're getting paid to do it or what? I really want to understand that because I've been on both sides. Me and I content creation, like I started taking this thing serious at the beginning of this year, right? And for me, I do feel like as a consumer, like as a consumer of content, when I see content creators, using a product and i figure out it's an ad like let's say couple in paid partnership or they just outrightly say it's an ad like i wouldn't go out of my way to say like oh this product doesn't work unless if maybe i've tried it or if i've had multiple reviews of people saying this product actually doesn't work Today I'm going for like a dark sultry look because it's been a minute since me back a, like a dark eyeshadow and I really want to do that especially because the event will go in tonight and I might probably go meet Bay after that so I want to just be ready like I don't want to have now to come back home change go nini nini I don't want to do all that right yeah, I just can't wait to see you, hang out with you guys, chill out, take a few shots because we just hit 20k subscribers. Now let's move on to my eyes. So far, how you get feeling the content on the channel? You know, I'm trying to find my footing on this YouTube space. Um, of course, it's going to take time. There will be a lot of trial and error, so just bear with me. What do you guys think of that eye look? I like it. Like it's a nice flow of colors. I think. Do you guys believe that? Um, someone's background particularly like when you're looking to to date someone do you believe that their background contributes or rather will contribute to the quality of relationship that you will have and by background i mean like if someone comes from let's say a single parent household vis-a-vis -vis someone who comes from a two-parent household what are your thoughts on that i would love to hear you for me i feel like first date conversations Actually, scratch that. Maybe this is not first date conversations. 
maybe this is like down the line like within the first few days you should know what type of person is this what was your upbringing what was your childhood like let's talk about your traumas your fears you know, what are you working on right now what are your goals i mean you don't have to ask all these questions on the first date but i feel like those are the initial conversations that people need to have because sometimes you meet couples and it's like they barely know each other i mean whatever works for you if if, if that works for you i am in no no place whatsoever to judge anyone i don't know if i should hold this hair up somewhere uh, but at least we're almost done much but at least the um, the lipstick matches the transition color so that's good let me finish the rest and then i'll be back once i've changed and done everything but i am done i am in my ankara fit and my friend is here okay our daughter what animal is hey hey she is passing the vibe check we have to make 20k subscribers Woo! Cheers. 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 Giving. Look at your skin. Yanni. Yeah, you're getting it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're <my> concussion. <laughs> <You're laughs> she looks concussion. Hey. Like her baby girl. Baby sis. Yeah, you're she's all you. She's happy. What can I say? Mm -hmm. what can I say? <laughs> anyway. So a few more shots then you bounce. <sighs> Cindy. Sour. Sour. Have I'm you not, eaten? Miss yeah, Dakula since the morning. Oh, by then, you're going to a sandwich. Yes, now, where's the bear? Oh, my God. Guys, I fake just... friends. Fake friends. Hmm. I just want to add Kidogo, like, lotion. So, I'm done. This is my outfit. I'll show you this, the full fit in the other side. For the slight glow, I know I'm not over-glowing, but I, I put this, uh, the Nivea Nourishing Cocoa. I've already done a body care routine. All Nivea. And then, also, sunscreen. And then Kidogo Avocado Oil. You guys have seen me use this even in my skincare routine. But yeah, this is the final look. Nime decide to change my hair up a bit because I always do like Kawaida side part. Oh, and then perfume. Perfume, I'm wearing my fanciest perfume. This one. Wow. I love it so much. What is, is it a trophy or a perfume? I know. <laughs> It smells so nice. Naikisha siju intarudua na pesa gani, but yeah, anyways, it's, it's an old scent. Unaza tell me, baby, can you yeah, tell me? Yeah, I, I was about to ask oh. you, it's good. Eh, hey, it's an old scent. I can yeah. smell you from Mombasa. Silvio, <laughs> good, mm -hmm. that's what we want. Kuna skuza kukua subtle and then there is that you need to pion. In the words of Wakash. So, wakale leave gold. Kuna gold and a gold hat. Leave, um... Pink hats. Ama? Yeah. Eh, wakale leave pink hats in the comment section. <laughs> so, roll call. Ya yeah, yeah, wakale. Any Team effort. That's why you need fashionista. You need a fashionista friend, a makeup friend. Yeah. Do you need a makeup friend? No, but I'm the makeup friend for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. For the, for the team. Mbogi last me kwena fashionista, makeup artist. It's like a cap pin. We'll put a ka safety pin because mm. you got the tightest. After I'll put a shingle. Um, so, we'll put just... It's time for shoes. Oh, to 20k and to today's fest.
say good night. Clearly, I don't know if you guys have seen the what is it called? The snippets of the event. But we're having fun. Yeah. So see you tomorrow. Watch out to cool vibes, kidogo. I might show you if I'll be here long enough. I might show you them on the kinder stage. If not, it's too bad. <laughs> Cheers, Bye. Babe. Bye. Good night. Well, last you saw me in the festival, now it's Sunday afternoon. Me, I'm hungover. I'm with Tash, the usual, the usual suspect. <laughs> so, to make a kula nyama, motura. We're about to have some motura, and I don't know. To tajot kifiko kwandani somewhere on Kiambu Road. So yeah, I think I'll just close out the vlog right here. It's been an interesting weekend. What do you think of the event, babe? Fun. You enjoyed? Uh -huh. Fatigue. Me mm -hmm. hangi guys. That's why I need the motura. Anyways, yeah. So I guess I'll see you on the next. Oh wait, before I go, I know we took a shot for 20k, but thank you so much for 20k subscribers. Dactari Squad, we are growing. I'm so happy about that. I will see you on the next vlog. Bye. Hey, Maoni. Maoni, Maoni, 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 so I'm just happy just to get